the human design projector in marketing and business. Since discovering that I was a projector in human design some years ago, I've been living the question, how can I do business and marketing as a projector? Before I get into how you can use your strategy as a projector to create an aligned and thriving business, this must be said. I believe the ultimate authority on how to live your life is you. Please don't abdicate that to any person, system, modality, or framework. While personality and design typing systems can be useful in revealing your conditioned thinking, they are not meant to limit what you are. That should be celebrated. You are a dynamic, gorgeous being of creativity and infinite possibilities who cannot be defined by any system, no matter how useful. With that in mind, please run this information past your inner knowing, see what's true for you, and test out human design for yourself. Now that I've gotten that off my chest, here's the challenge. The conventional marketing strategies of constant hustle and hype, pushing for visibility, and making things happen are simply not aligned or sustainable for human design projectors. Projectors are designed to guide a specific group of people while working fewer hours, getting lots of rest, and waiting to be invited, all of which can seem impossible in the business environment. Yet when you understand and align with your design, rather than fighting to conform to a system that wasn't made for you, a natural and easy journey of business can arise. When it comes to doing business as a projector, in general, you need to step away from the dominant generator model of work. Use systems and build teams to delegate and streamline your workload so that you can rest. Slow down, like way down. Honor your way of creating and marketing that aligns with your unique design. Trust your inner authority when it comes to making choices. Your inner authority is your inner guidance to follow when making choices, and there are seven types in human design. We won't cover them in this video, but you can Google for more information about your inner authority, and I'll explain how to experiment with yours in my Marketing for Projectors workshop. Let's explore the human design strategy of projectors and how it relates to marketing your business. Your strategy in human design is how you're designed to interact with the world, including your clients, customers, and partners in business. Projectors, like me, make up approximately 20% of the overall population. We're here to be a guide for others. The strategy for projectors is waiting for the invitation. Originally, I fought this hard because it goes against everything I was taught about marketing. The predominant philosophy in business is to just do it, hustle, and always be selling, which is a recipe for exhaustion and frustration when it comes to projectors. I did a really good job of working like a generator for most of my career, although I always seemed to need naps and loads of sleep to get me through. Around age 40, that pace just didn't seem to work anymore. I simply can't, or won't, push myself to work for eight hours a day. While most of the entrepreneurial world may call this laziness or lack of motivation, I call this alignment. So, if you're not designed to initiate sales conversations and promote, 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 how does a projector get business? The strategies that have proven helpful for myself and my projector clients are, number one, do what you love so you can be recognized. I found that even more important than being invited to do something, I need to be recognized first. The feeling of being recognized or not is one you'll have to explore for yourself. Here's what it feels like for me. When I'm recognized, the person's energy is open and receptive. It's as if their entire being is inviting me to see them and share what I see. When I'm not recognized, it's like bumping up against an invisible force field. I can push against it, but I'm simply not welcome and I can feel that. The best way to be recognized is to do whatever you do best. Pursue what you love in an environment that lets people see you shine. This might look like giving people a taste of what you do professionally by leading a workshop or sharing your art online, but it doesn't have to involve what you do for work directly. You can also be recognized by participating in a book club, a marathon group, or a charity. A projector's energy and wisdom is powerful, but people who are meant to be guided by you will recognize you right away, and pretty much everyone else will ignore you, and that's perfect. You simply need to be visible and seen by those you're meant to serve. Some questions to assist you in finding places to be recognized. Where can you learn, study, or practice what you love? What can you speak about or teach? Where can you take a position of visibility that inspires you? How can you let others see your brilliance? When and where have you felt recognized in the past? The more you do what you love, the more visible you become. 
people will naturally be drawn to your guidance and some of them will become your clients. Number two, creating content, podcasts, articles, videos, webinars, social media posts, etc. Projectors are insightful, astute observers of people. They excel at asking powerful questions, finding connections that others miss, and typically they have excellent communication skills. All of these suggest that you have a message to share. Whether you do it with the written or spoken word, in person or remotely, you have something valuable to say to guide humanity. It's likely that you'll meet a person and have guidance to share. But if you do that without an invitation, it not only feels like crap, it won't be received. And what's the point of that? You can, however, turn that amazing advice into a piece of content and share it publicly with a general audience. Let me stress that you have absolute permission to express yourself and share your point of view. You don't need a personal invitation for this. So turn those insights into content and at the end, include a call to action. This way, when someone recognizes you, they'll know exactly what to do next. Some examples of calls to action are, click here to learn more about working with me, contact me for a free session, subscribe to receive my free tips by email here. In my experience, straight sales pitches to a cold audience don't work so well for projectors. But a content marketing strategy that leads with valuable information and includes a call to action is right up your alley. Number three, invite your current customers and clients to do the inviting for you. When you connect with a current or past client, say or write something like this. I've absolutely loved working with you, and I have a hunch you might know some amazing people I can serve. I'm looking for, insert description of your ideal client, if you know anyone like that, I'd love to offer them a free session. If not, that's totally okay. This is a no pressure way to ask your happy clients to do the inviting for you. When someone contacts you for the free session, you've now been invited to respond. Number four, when you've been recognized, extend an invitation. Once you've been recognized by someone, they've asked you a question, responded to your post, or contacted you for information, invite them to receive more. When you feel that you've been recognized, this, in my not so humble opinion, is an invitation for you to invite them to the next step. A few ways you might do this. Invite them to a conversation. Make an offer for your product or services. Invite them to visit your website to learn more. If you're not sure whether you've been invited, you can always ask, would you like to know more about what I do? Listen to the energy behind the answer. If it's a true yes, you'll feel it. Then proceed. Number five, create a tribe of people who recognize you. This is a good idea for any type in human design, but especially for those of us who are waiting for the invitation. Once you've been invited, extend an invitation for people to subscribe to your email list, join your Facebook group, follow you on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube. This gives you a way to connect with and make an invitation to those willing people who've invited you into their lives. It's permission marketing at its finest and it's extremely effective for projectors. Want more help marketing as a projector? I'm Stephanie, a projector and human design friendly business coach who teamed up with quiet marketer Danny Gardner to create marketing for projectors. In this workshop, you'll learn why mainstream business concepts such as showing up consistently and being visible don't work for projectors. What waiting for the invitation looks like when you're marketing online, launching products and hosting events. How to know which invitations to accept and which to ignore. Specific business models, marketing routines and strategies well suited for projectors. Go to projector.marketing for more details. I hope these tips support your projector journey and wish you much success following your unique design for business and marketing.